Hey everybody, it's breakfast book time. Today's episode is Safriel's Hand. Hello and welcome to a new series that I'm calling Breakfast Books Reviews with Logan. I'll be reading a book, finding reviews online, and helping my audience pick a book that they'll really enjoy. I personally read about a book every week and we'll be putting out a videos every Monday. This week we'll be talking about Safriel's Hand, A Pattern of Shadow and Light, book one. It's a four-part series. First book, uh, we'll start with the negative reviews, go to the positive ones, and then we'll finish up with one of my own. So the first guy, his name's Weird uh, Ralphin. Uh, he reviewed the this book about a year ago, and he gave it a two out of five stars, and uh, he got some interesting comments. Uh, he titled this Needlessly Tedious with absurd names like Dabu, Balad, Jara, Saribi. I'm not kidding. That's the title of this bad boy. So... Basically, he goes on to say, every now and then, Amazon recommends a present. Uh, Amazon recommendations presents me with a real gem. This is not one of those times. I got caught up in the story enough to order the sequel, but the problem simply grew to the point where I started just speed reading just to get through it. Not quite bad enough for me to ban the story altogether, but I could hardly wait to get put it down. Let's start with the obvious. McPhail, who's the author, probably didn't set this up to abuse her readers, but needlessly burdensome, nigh unpronounceable names uh, of some of the players and locations make it really hard to follow the story. I did find a few exotic sounding names throughout the story to be pretty pleasing, but please don't force me to rely on a glossary just, to f just through the first half of the book. Here are some few notable examples. The Sun Dragons, also known as Drakweer, are names like Daba Halaba Sarabi, Shavir Raka Karakaka, and uh, Ramaka Rakara. It's really bad guys. The guys are called Maloran Althgul. Both of these names are horrible and it is impossible to get through this portion of the book. Luckily most of these characters have nicknames, but the nicknames don't always match up to what like they're actually supposed to be saying. So it's really hard to match up who goes where with who, and you're just kind of like all over the place trying to figure this one out. Uh, there's also problems uh, with the bad guys. They don't really seem to make any sense. Uh, the millions of years old bad guys who can seemingly destroy anything at any given point in time, they for some reason don't. And they want to battle it out with the good guys who are the living humans, and it's like, what? why, why do they do that? There's quite a bit of... Uh, convenient circumstances in this book as well. Anytime someone's in real trouble, boom, hero or god swoops in for the rescue. On one hand, it's nice knowing that nothing is ever bad going to happen to your people, but at the same time, what's really the point if you know they're always going to make it out? Characters are interesting, and often, but are often highly unrealistic, especially on the emotional romantic end of the spectrum. Sometimes the relationships are reasonably believable, but way too many times the situation felt like they were forced. He goes on a little bit more, but we'll move on. The good one. They titled this Superb Epic Fantasy, Chris B. March uh, 2015. He goes on to say, It's superbly written. I'm a huge fan of truly epic fantasy. This book is not for people unwilling to follow stacks of characters with stacks of storylines, while also multiple new pathions, lores, and a ton of typical fantasy uh, terminology that comes into this book. Um, the characters are compelling. They ha all have good development, interested and motivation, interesting and motivational. Sorry, none of these particular characters are very black and white, and there is a ton of them. So if you don't like one of them, you can always move on to the next one in the next chapter. Um, the plot is thick, twisting, and you never really know whose side who's on. It's fantastic, much in the vein of George R. R. Martin. The plots weave in and out, and are each good and they're fascinating to watch. The end of this is just the beginning, and it's begging for resolution. Every single character, every single one of them, you're sitting there going, man, I wonder what's gonna happen next with this guy. And you're just kinda like, makes you wanna buy the second one. It leaves you on a pretty good, pretty big, good cliffhanger. Um, by the way, this book is almost 670 pages, so if you're not gonna wanna stick through it to the end, this book is not something you wanna pick up. So, my personal review, I'm going to give this book about a 3.75 out of 5. If you're not interested in really digging into multiple storylines and multiple characters, this really isn't the book for you. It takes a while to get the move, book moving in the right direction, 
and there's a ton of questions that never are going to be answered in this book and will make you keep reading to get what you want. However, I really enjoyed the storylines and thought it was easy to follow along with, especially Trail of the Tides, who is an adventurer, and he's not the main storyline, but he's a one-off, and honestly, he's my favorite story in the book. He's got a lot of good characteristics. He's heroic. You know, he's good with the ladies. He's got lots of stuff going on beyond, you know, your just normal everyday character, and I really enjoyed reading about him. Um, basically, all in all, it's worth checking out. Uh, there's a ton of redeeming qualities, including likable characters, questions that will keep nagging at you after you put the book down, and uh, just a new world that needs exploring. You can pick this copy up on Amazon for about 30 bucks right now. You can pick it up on Audible. Uh, it's on Audible. Um, you're not really going to find this at Walmart or Target or these kind of bigger box stores, but you will find it at pretty much every single uh, bookstore you've ever been to. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next or what book you think I should be reading next and I'll try and put one of these out every week. I'm really looking forward to this series. I'm really excited. Let me know what you guys want to hear. Bye. You've been watching Breakfast Time Reviews with Logan. Tune in next week.